It's been over two weeks since we put up a video on this channel and it needs to be out today since I scheduled a premiere basically less than a week to get out and I needed sub pals and YT pals to get this video to over 100 views because, well, you know, the algorithm's trying to screw us. I mean, come on! It's nice that we don't watch Mojo Channel, but this video is sponsored by Rain Shadow Legends. Just kidding. I don't even play games on my phone. No thanks to you. Get on with it! Do we, I have a treat for you. It's not a Shadow Vessel video this time. It's not a comic review, even though I am working on a uh, full deep dive on the mass. Who can? I already finished Omnibus 1, and, and they're still in the middle of reading Omnibus 2, because unlike most of you YouTubers, I have a life, and I'm not that much of a whore like the rest of you. Shut up and get to the point! Where we got your ass? Well, as you know, I've been noticing, I've been spitting out a lot of full animated albums of artists people forgot about or don't know who the hell they are. I've recently done, as you know, both first two Mother Mercy albums. <laughs> as well as Migraine. And now, another forgotten band from the late 90s, early 2000s, Dr. Destructo and the Adaptoids, who started off as a, a ska core band and then they became more hardcore. Can't find any footage of them anymore. All I can find is this full length album. So here you go, take it away. Anything less be uncivil. Greetings, humans and humans. Allow me to tell you a tale. A tale of an island shrouded in mystery. An island regarded as the home of humanity's greatest threat. An island that is struck The ruler of this island is the most menacing cult of his life in the known universe. None other than the infamous Dr. Destructor. Dr. Destructor has been working with his lab on Destructor Lab for decades now, waiting for the perfect time to strike back against humankind, this fallen enemy, and this new breed of super mutants, the Adaptoids. The core group of these genetic mutants was this Destructor X, the first son of Dr. Destructor, worm and deal of mass Destructor, Dr. Colossus, the scheming protege of the Doctor, and the reward is the ravaged world's rock star. The mission is to gain followers for the master by becoming pop icon rock stars, thereby infiltrating the media. Slowly, even as we speak, Dr. Destructor and the are taking control of your radio, television, and all other forms of communication. The Adaptoid revolution is at hand. The end is near. Beware the Green Solution!
unleash my fury upon you like the crashing of a thousand waves! Be gone, vile man! Be gone from me! A starter car! This car is a finisher car! A transporter of gods! The Golden God! I am untethered and my rage knows no bounds!
me I'm good. Tell me I'm good. Tell me that was good. Tell me. about last meals in prison.
this. Look at it! A world built on Ridge Wallet. Fuck that shit. It's all about wallet chains. Why? If you get a Ridge Wallet, you're a sitting duck and you'll get robbed. Use a wallet chain. You can use it as a weapon and you won't lose your shit.
meal. I don't know, kind of lost my appetite.
Pretty much it for this album. Yeah, Hard Blood only put out one album. Pretty crazy hybrid of music. I mean, come on! They were awesome live. I mean, that's why I'm kind of bummed I have no footage of them because they were very guar like. They'll even sound very guar like. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it! But wait, there's more because after Lanthrax, we got two hidden tracks. First, there's this one. I'm sick of myself cause I've been obsessed 
I'd go into detail, but you know, I'm just basically just trolling all of you anyway. So, whatever. I'd say special thanks to the people, but I gotta go on Sub Pals and YT Pals just to try to get 100 views on here because the algorithm gets up. Coming to me. Oh, I'm doing a deep, deep, insane, deep, dimension deep dive into the entire lore of Dan Shaker's Guide to the Galaxy. Because if you didn't know this, back in 2012, I tried to start a, a disaster area tribute band. <laughs> The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy notes that this is a disaster area. The Plutonian rock band, the Yager Attack of Mind Zones, is generally held to be not only the loudest rock band in the galaxy, but in fact the loudest noise of any kind at all. Of any kind at all. Any kind at all. Oh, oh, oh yeah! Well, I, I almost have a full collection of uh, Star Wars Legacy, you know, from Dark Horse Comics. You know, when Star Wars comics were good. And uh, my favorite character, Cade Skywalker. I also got the Predator Omnibus by Dark Horse Comics, because fuck Disney, fuck Marvel. That lore is badass. They actually gave the lore to Predator, you know, in Dark Horse Comics. I also got Axe Cop and uh, a bunch of other things, so stay tuned on that shit. Um, plus the fucking message is bomb.com. Chaos is a ladder. Shout out to our patrons. In order of importance, the Shadow Vessel, the Fly Attractor, Janitor Jake, Count Mori Bond, Gary Mossberg, and of course, Ryan Zacker. If you have any opinions on what I'm saying, like and comment. Just say some shit in the comments. I need more hate mail anyway, because apparently the only way I actually get views is when I piss people off. The universe is there to help us. It's not fucking miracle worker and only by admitting what we are can we get what we want <laughs>